On Monday morning, there was a brazen home invasion in the village of Ranchito Corozal. Expats, 70-year-old Michael McGee and his wife Janet were sleeping inside their room when they were awakened by two armed men at the foot of their beds. Between 1 and 2 a.m., the thieves scaled the fence and ripped the lock from the front door without a peep before ordering the couple to the ground. They closed all the windows to the house before they carried out the heist. In the case of Michael, he was beaten on the face, left with bruises, and his wife suffered a neck injury as their lives were threatened multiple times by the armed burglars. They told us to get out of bed and get on the floor, which we did. Then they tied us up. And uh, at that point, they began asking us for money or anything they could convert into money. Um, so they, had a, they pointed a gun in my face and they told me if I made a sound, they would kill me. So uh, we, com we cooperated, just completely cooperated. And um, they, uh, they at one point told us that they wanted at least $5,000. And they kept asking, where's the, where's the money, where's the money? And we just didn't have any money here, really, not much. And they ask at some point, they ask where the gun is. And we didn't have, we don't have a gun, but we had a pellet pistol. So they, they took that. The frightening ordeal went on for about two hours before the men escaped with TVs, computers, jewelry, and valuable household items. To compound matters, they took the couple's 2003 Dodge pickup truck. The inventory shows that the thieves got away with $46,585 in assorted items. They tied us up. They put tape across our eyes and our mouths. Um, they took all of our TVs, our computers, her diamond wedding ring and my ring, and everything else that, that, that wasn't nailed down. And they piled it all into our Dodge pickup truck and stole that too. I tried to remain calm, which I did, and I think that helped. Um, I, they were obviously in an, ex, in an excited state, and it doesn't take much pressure on a trigger to, to you know. So uh, I figured the best approach was just to be as calm as possible, cooperate as much as we could, and maybe they wouldn't hurt us. <clears throat> and that, that worked. They didn't hurt us. They, they caused some damage from the binding um, and in my face here and here. About half an hour after the burglars left, Janet was able to free her hands and untie Michael before they called the police. But it is believed that the couple was being monitored by professional thieves who have been terrorizing the small village just outside Corozal town for some months now. In the past month, several houses have been burglarized and homeowners attacked by armed burglars. They were professionals. They knew what they were doing. This is not the first time they've done this. They popped the, uh, see that deadbolt lock on this door? There's one on the other door just like that. They popped it off with a screwdriver, put the screwdriver inside and slid the deadbolt back and the door just swung open. And they did that without making a sound. We didn't hear a thing until they awakened us at the foot of our bed. This is not the only home invasion robbery that's occurred recently here. No. And the police have, they're not do well, I can't say they're not doing anything, but they're not accomplishing anything, it appears. The Magis are not hopeful that they'll recover any of the stolen goods and are living in fear. After making Belize their home six years ago, they are now in the process of returning to the U.S. Uh, we came 2011 right. to retire. <coughs> and we were robbed, we, we weren't home the first time, uh, October 28th, 2011. So it's almost like October 30th, 2017, we're robbed again. And this time we were home and they t the cowards tied us up and the cowards. Okay. I, I'm more angry than Sorry. Sorry. pissed. We've got a for sale sign out there. No, if, as soon as we can sell the house, we're, we're gone. Back to the States. Dwayne Moody for News 5.